Everyone can agree that the legend players in MLB The Show are a great addition to the game, but they've been the same for the past couple years. We need a change, and I'm going to give you the top 10 list of who needs to be in the game next year. I'm going to be giving you my top 10 list of who needs to be in the game for MLB The Show next year. And uh, this list is going to be five position players and five pitchers. At number one, I got... For a pitcher, Randy Johnson. If you don't know who Randy Johnson is, ooh, he was a sick dude. He's sick. He was about six foot ten. Played for the Diamondbacks. Played for the Mariners. Played for a bunch of teams. Threw really hard left-handed. And uh, overall, I'd give him about a ninety-five overall. I mean, he was overall he's pretty good, but he's not like a Kershaw or anything. But whatever. On to the first hitter. I have. Pete Rose, he was a catcher for the Reds, and uh, I mean, there's a lot to say about Pete Rose. He wants to get in the Hall of Fame. A lot of people say he shouldn't. A lot of people do. He betted. He bet for baseball and all this crap, but he is a career leader in hits, and I would give him a 97 overall. The next pitcher, we have Pedro Martinez. He played for a couple teams, but most notably, the Boston Red Sox, my team. This isn't any bias. All of you guys can agree that Pedro Martinez was sick, but anyways, uh, he won the Cy Young like three times, threw hard, struck a lot of people out. I would be giving him a 95 overall rating in the game the next hitter another Red Sox but he also played for like 15 teams he played for like the Indians he played for the Red Sox Dodgers Rays and like some team in China I don't even know but I have Manny Ramirez dude this kid was legit if you guys don't know Manny Ramirez go watch YouTube videos he's hilarious he's I don't even I don't know who to compare him to but he's legit I'd be giving him a actually a 99 overall rating. For his prime years, he uh, absolutely slayed. He was legit. He batted way over 300. I think he might actually hit over 50 home runs. I don't even remember, but my God, he was legit. The next pitcher I have is a Dodger from the 50s, Sandy Koufax. If you don't know who Sandy Koufax is, a lot of people compare Kershaw to him. They say Kershaw is the next Sandy Koufax. I mean, not a lot of us have seen Sandy Koufax pitch, but he threw a couple perfect games back in the day. And uh, yeah, he's pretty legit. He's pretty legit. I'd give him... Definitely a 99 overall. He deserves it. The next position player I have is Sammy Sosa. Played for the Cubs. Uh, I mean, he hit a ton of home runs, but his average was, eh, it was okay. I would give him a 96 overall rating. Uh, if his average was better, I'd give him more contact. But I'm going to give him 99 power to both sides, but he's going to be a 96 overall. The next pitcher I have, a lot of you might not know who this is, but I have Joel Zumaya. He played for the Tigers. Uh, this card would be about an 88 overall, but I mean, it's not that good. But he threw as hard as a raw this. He was throwing like 104, 105. There was one game where he just kind of bloomed out of nowhere, and he was str- he struck out A-Rod Jeter, and they were, all the pitchers were like 104, 105, 106, whatever it was. But then he blew out his elbow like 15 times. So he is no longer playing in MLB. But that card would be legit. The next position player I have is Mark McGuire. He played for the Cardinals. Uh, He had a bunch of home runs. He was kind of like Sammy Sosa, but his average was never really good. I would actually give him a 95, a little below Sammy Sosa. I'd max out his power, but I'd give him less contact just because he never really hit for contact. It was basically home runs and RBIs, but still a legit card. That'd be sick to have in the game. The last pitcher I have, and uh, I think this is a good pitcher to add, is Mariano Rivera. You all know who Mariano Rivera is. He's a closer for the Yankees there for a while, and uh, he's, he's got like 652, I think, saves overall. He's at the most of all time. I'd give him a 98 overall. Uh, I think he'd be one, he'd be pretty effective if you give him that cutter that moves a lot, but that would be legit to see him in the game. A lot of people would use him, and uh, why not? All right, guys, last but certainly not least, and this is going to break my heart to say it, because I don't really like the Yankees, but I do like this guy. Derek Jeter, I'd give him a 95 overall. Uh, he's one of the best shortstop of all time. He never really had like that amazing year where he hit 50 home runs. Or the th- like, you know, he, he never had that great year. But, I mean, overall, he's a good he's a good shortstop. But for his prime year, I'd give him about a 95 overall rating. All right, guys, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to slap a like. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. There's going to be a lot of MLB The Show gameplay. I don't know why I said that so weird. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, leave a comment below who do you guys want to see in the game. Uh, I got this idea from someone else on YouTube. I forget who it was, but he did like a top five list. So I was like, you know what? I'll do a top ten. Why not? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you next time. Peace out.